breaking news. Tenable Certificate Saga, APC sent powerful warning to Atiku. See what they ask him to do that shock Nigerians. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. An APC leader, Adamu Garaba, has urged Atiku Abubakar, the 2023 PDP presidential candidate, to cease his efforts to shape public opinion through discussions about President Bola Tinubu's educational background in the realm of Nigerian politics. It is not uncommon for political figures to engage in a heated debate and controversies. Adamu Garabakh, a prominent member of the All Progressive Congress APC, has found himself in the midst of one such in the midst of one such dispute. His message is clear. He is calling on Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate for the 2023 the People's Democratic Party (PDP) to put an end to the public discussions surrounding the President Tinubu's academic disqualification. This request touches upon several faces of Nigerian politics. Firstly, it highlights the competitive nature of politics in Nigeria, where rival parties often engage in, in mudslain and attempt to discredit each other's candidates. In this case, Atiku Abubakar's interest in President Tinubu's academic records is likely, likely seen as an attempt to undermine his credibility. Secondly, the phrase, creating a, a, a court of public opinion, implies that Atiku Abubakar's actions are seen as a form of trial by public perception rather than a legal or formal process. This is a common strategy in politics where leaders seek to sway public opinion in their favor, which can, in turn, influence electoral outcomes. Lastly, the mention of President Bola Tinubu's academic record touches upon the importance of education in Nigeria politics. Academic disqualifications are often scrutinized as they can impart a candidate's eligibility and perceived competence. In essence, this statement by Adamu Garaba reflects the ongoing political maneuvering and rivalry that characterizes Nigeria politics in the lead up to the 2023 presidential election. It is a reminder to the complex dynamics and strategies at play in the Nigerian political landscape. Vanguard News reported that. Adamu Garaba's accusation that Atiku Abubakar is creating a process that goes against the law, the laws of Nigeria, is a serious allegation, and it underscores the legal and ethnical dimensions of the controversy surrounding President Bola Tinubu's academic credentials in Nigeria, as he may, on, as he may, other countries. There are streets, as in many other countries, please pardon me, there are strict laws and regulations governing the disclosure of academic qualifications by public figures, especially those aspiring to hold public office. These laws are in place to ensure transparency upon the integrity of the electoral process and maintain a public trust. By suggesting that Atiku Abubakar's actions are contrary to these laws, Garaba Shewu, Garaba Adamu, please pardon me, is essentially claiming that the PDP candidate is engaging in activities that could be deemed legal or on on technical. Furthermore, Garaba's assumption that records indicate Tinubu attended Chicago State University add another layer of complicity to the academic credentials debate. If indeed there is concrete evidence supporting Tunubu's attendance at the Chicago State University, 
it would potentially diffuse the controversy and put to rest any doubt about the qualifications. However, it is essentially to note that the veracity of such records and claims will need to be thoroughly investigated and substantiated. False claims about academic qualifications can have serious legal consequences and can impact the political careers of individuals. Indeed, this entire situation highlights the importance of transparency, accountability, and adherence to the rule of law in Nigeria politics. As the 2023 presidential election are over, Nigerians expected that, that INEC might have gone through the credentials of these candidates before the election. But what we are seeing right now is that it's now the, the U.S. courts that have now told Nigerians what is happening in Nigeria. The revelation of Artiku Abubakar's expedition to Chicago State University as part of his effort to expose President Bola Tinubu's academic background had a dramatic twist to the unfolding political saga. Article decision to physically visit the Chicago State University to investigate Tinubu's educational history indicate the length to which politicians are willing to go to gain a competitive advantage in Nigerian politics. Such expeditions to verify academic qualifications are not uncommon, especially when doubts are raised about a candidate's credentials. It reflects the intense screening the political candidate faces in Nigeria, where educational qualifications are seen as a crucial factor in determining a candidate's eligibility and competence for public office. So guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Thank you.